What's up guys, this is Chad at All Dogs Off Road and today we're going to be taking a quick refresher on putting together your top hat assembly for your Bill C 5100 or your Coney 82 series shock. This video will be specific to the Nissan Frontier, Xterra and R51 Pathfinder but the general concepts you should be able to apply to just about anything. Um, what we've got here are uh, some KYB part numbers that we uh, pretty frequently use in the shop. Your KYB SM5698, which is going to be your top hat, or what some guys will refer to as a strut mount. And then your SM5699, which is going to be your uh, rubber isolator and uh, bushing assembly. And these two together uh, create a whole unit that you'll use for uh, finishing out your coilover assembly. So one of the reasons we're doing this video, uh, and we've actually, we've already done one video on a proper assembly of a 5100, but it seems that uh, still there's some uh, misunderstanding on uh, the order of assembly for the top hat. And we wanna uh, try to make this as simple for you guys as we can. So generally, what you're going to do is you're going to start with your uh, metal top hat and this is fairly common sense you'll take your isolator it's kind of grooved and the two are made to fit together you've got a little locator on your isolator on most of these uh, and then there's also a little uh, locator on your top hat here and what you're doing is you're lining the two up and then you'll just squeeze the two together and it just it holds really nicely. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, that would probably be your first step in, in combining these two part numbers. Your next step is going to be taking, you've got a little sleeve here that your shock shaft will ride through and that will sit in the center section here. And then you generally have a, an upper rubber bushing that will go to the top and then you have your top washer here. You'll notice that in this assembly there is, uh, if you're an astute student, you'll notice that there is one thing missing here and that is a lower metal washer. So what you're doing when you're putting something like this together is you're building a, a rubber and metal sandwich. So basically you would have a washer up top, a washer up bottom, and then you have bushings in between uh, the two washers that allow for a little bit of squish as the shock uh, shifts up and down. Um, most of your shock assemblies will include the lower washer and that's why in these KYB kits or even in other kits like uh, Beck or AC Delco or whomever else, um, lower washer is not included because they generally will come with your uh, with your front shock. So one thing that's not quite evident here when I threw everything together is uh, you noticed that there was an upper rubber bushing in a lot of these aftermarket uh, rubber isolator kits, your uh, rubber, lower rubber bushing is actually molded into uh, your isolator so that it's all one piece, which is nice and easy. Some of your OEMs, uh, like the new 22 Frontiers, this would all be two separate pieces, but uh, the concept is still the same. You're making a, a rubber and metal washer sandwich. got here is a KYB 822644. This is the front shock that we use for Nissan Frontiers, Xterra's, and the R51 Pathfinder. Uh, it's it's a, I wouldn't really call it an extended travel shock, but it's a little bit more travel than stock. And this is what we're going to be using for uh, showing you guys what a proper assembly looks like. So again, to go over our concepts, um, you're making a 
washer and rubber sandwich. So with it sitting here like this, you got your lower washer. And then you've got your top hat with your isolator in place. And then your sleeve and bushing. Top washer. Some guys say that you're supposed to install it upside down like this. I prefer it concave down. And then finally, the very final step here, your nut. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the spring compressor and we'll do this for you and then you'll be able to have a good view of what it looks like all finished. So now that we went over the order of assembly on the top hat on the bench, we're actually gonna do it here uh, and give you a good view of what everything looks like um, all said and done. So I got my coil spring right here. Uh, we use a Brannick 7600 spring compressor. It's a wall mount, it's really nice to have. Um, so most shops will have something like this. Uh, this would be a, quite a bit different of a process if you were to use uh, rental tools from say uh, O'Reilly's or Advanced Auto or whatnot. Um, for truck springs, uh, four by four springs, like everything that we're dealing with, while you can get away with using those rental tools, uh, we generally recommend using something like this. It makes life a lot easier. So on your coil spring, uh, generally you'll have a closed end and an open end. This down here is the open end of the spring, and you're gonna have that pointed down towards the ground. And on the Coney shocks, your lower spring perch is welded to the shock body, so you can't really, obviously you can't twist it. Uh, so you have to be very uh, intentional in lining up your uh, terminating end of your pigtail because it's going to really it's going to determine the orientation of your top hat and everything has to be uh, correct otherwise you're not going to be able to fit the coil over into the coil bucket and your lower uh, control arm shock mount so when we're doing it on the 7600 here we generally line straight up and down like this and on nissans you have an isosceles triangle bolt pattern on your top hat. So you have two longer sides and one shorter side. So it's kind of creating an arrow. And visually you want to think of that arrow pointing out towards the tire. So this is going to be pointing out toward the tire. Your dimple is going to be pointing toward the engine. And you want that to line up with the front of your uh, lower shock eyelet here. We like to, uh, some guys will take your claws and put them in the coils here. We actually like to come down on top of the top hat. There's some nice grooving here that the teeth on the spring compressor uh, will grab right into. I'll show you here in just a second. And again, orientation is important. You want your point to be directly overhead of your terminating pigtail. And then everything will be in orientation. On a Bilstein 5100, this orientation is not important because you have a uh, perch that's free of the shock body. This is a a Titan example, it's kind of grody, but you'll see, you know, because you have snap rings for adjustment, you can move that anywhere. So that's setting up your orientation before compressing the spring isn't as important with a 5100. 
as it is with something with a welded shock body like the Kony shocks. We got our spring compressed. Um, orientation is good. Now, like we did on the table, we're gonna make a washer and rubber bushing sandwich. So lower washer, we're gonna come up through the coil spring and into place where we need to be here. Then your metal sleeve and your upper bushing gonna go into place, upper washer, nut, and then you're gonna tighten everything down. Double check your orientation before you release the spring so you'll notice as I was tightening I've got a little bit of twist in my shock body. Get everything lined back up. Tip of the eyelet to the uh, tip of the arrow here and if everything looks good go ahead and release the coil. Just a baby. <laughs>